Hey, Josh here, Crypto Y'all, and gotta ask a question if you're new to crypto or you're crypto curious, or you're looking out into the financial system, you're like, what's going on? You know, you've got banks failing last week, uh, Silicon Valley Bank, Silvergate, Signature Bank, pretty major regional banks, and now if you look over to Europe, uh, today even, uh, Credit Suisse, one of the oldest 166 year old bank one of the largest and most significant financial financial institutions on the planet is in trouble its stock is down 96 percent uh, to think that the credit Suisse could go to zero is just one of those things that three years ago people would have just been like no way no chance so what does that mean for crypto investing well um, if you looked at the charts over the last few days, uh, you would see that Bitcoin's price going up and in, in response to the financial banking situational mess that Silicon Valley uh, Bank was the centerpiece of. And what happened was the Federal Reserve, FDIC, the Treasury, the government stepped in and said, hey, don't worry about it. We are going to make sure all the deposits are fine. It's a for so the Federal Reserve opened swap lines, which is a technical maneuver that they have. Of basically, instead of FDIC insuring up to just to two hundred and fifty thousand dollars in deposits, they just said, "No, if you've got fifty-two million in deposits, we'll cover all of that for you." So it's a it's a form of quantitative easing. It's a form of um, injecting capital into a financial system. And what happens when you inject capital into a financial system? Well, you get positive price action in risk on assets. And that's what happened. But also what happened, especially this last weekend with Bitcoin was people going, hey, paper money, traditional finance, banking systems, it's kind of opaque. I don't know what they're doing behind the scenes. They say they're trustworthy, but the only reason why they're trustworthy is because they say they're trustworthy. How do I know I'm going to be able to get my money out of a bank when I want to or in a crisis? And so Bitcoin is a harder asset. It's a better form of money. It's backed by mathematical algorithms rather than the mismanagement of central bankers. Well, of course, it had its moment of glory and it'll continue to have price volatility like any asset. But now we're looking at Credit Suisse. What happens next with them? Well, it turns out that the government of Switzerland is holding talks to see how they might go about securing and stabilizing Credit Suisse. And this is primarily exposure to the Western world banking system. Um, Asia, the BRICS nations, they're not going to have as much exposure to these, this systemic financial uh, problem. They'll feel it, but in terms of markets where we create our wealth, especially in crypto, it's actually a good thing in the short term because what's going to happen is markets are going to get emotional and they're going to see that there's liquidity coming back into the system and game is on. Price will go up. So looks like we're going to have a blow off top uh, in the market and get ready because you want to have your portfolio in place. You want to have your assets um, positioned for the rally. And we've already had a great rally year to date. January was one of the best Januaries in the history of Bitcoin. Um, and now it's time for the altcoins to shine where you get the maximum amount of of uh, multiples. So if you want to learn more, click the link in my bio. Join me on a call if you're interested and uh, hope to get to work with you. If you're interested in creating multiple streams of income, uh, expanding your net worth with crypto, and just learning the ropes from someone that you can trust and who's a normal everyday guy, crypto y'all, that's what we're all about. Link in bio, like and follow for more.